Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Update on Lysius Interjectus. Uh, it's been about two weeks uh, and you'll see that um, initially the um, uh, we had three and literally the day after the last video uh, one of the queens uh, uh, was dead and like I said they don't last a whole long time. When you get them you need to set them up pretty quickly uh, because they won't like Fitacol I've kept them like literally for a year or two uh, so <laughs> but the interjectus for some reason at least the way we care for them we can't get them to, to live more than a month and that's pretty consistent and common from what I've heard from from many other people so um, the fact that one died does not surprise me uh, we have two they're doing good uh, and it happened so quickly that we just took the callos that that one had and just divided them among the other two nests so nothing got wasted um, so what I did was that cow farm I showed you last time, uh, that uh, the pupa and workers that were taken from the nest, I just checked that every day. And um, uh, once a day, I would take a toothpick Q-tip and pull out all of the callos that had closed since the previous day. Uh, and, um, the, um, uh, and then I would transfer them uh, directly into these two nests. You also have noticed that Last week or two weeks ago, they were in small nests like this, the founding nests. And I decided while they're still small and manageable, I moved them into these larger nests and just put a cotton plug between the two sides. So they still only have uh, one side each, and these areas here are, are blocked off and empty. But uh, laceus are so hard to move that I wanted to put them into a medium nest. So when they grow and need a bigger nest, I could just unplug the other side rather than uh, rather than try to get a, a decent sized colony to move. Um, so that those are basically the developments. So I took that other colony and for a week and a half or so every day I'd pull out the callows and put them in here and, and now they've got a quite decent sized nest started. I took the, the remainder of the pupa and the workers uh, from that previous nest, drove them back down to cars and he released them back on top of the rock they came from. So uh, again, nothing was wasted, nobody was killed, uh, no ants were injured in the making of this video. <laughs> Um, so let me just show you real quick what's what's going on. And these two are pretty decent and pretty sizable nowadays. And you saw while I was talking that uh, they are moving in and out of the tube and they're feeding. I have the, the water and honey set up close to them rather than far away, which is where I typically place them just to make sure they find them. I'll move it back in a week or two once I know they're feeding pretty well. But it's been two weeks and the queens are doing well. They do the mommy mob thing. They don't let the queen see the light of day generally. Um, most of those pupa in the bottom, you'll notice the orange color, the, the, all these callos, almost all of them have colored up. You can see a few callos scattered around here and there. Those are from the last day or two. Uh, but the rest of them are that nice orange color now. Most of the pupa on the ground uh, have uh, closed and they're just empty husks. You can see that kind of middle of the frame right there. You can see the holes. Uh, but almost all of them are like that if you if you look closely and they eventually will take the trash out But uh, they haven't yet. I don't know where this queen is. You guys can probably see it better I can't see it on my phone as well as I, you can on the video. So uh, you can probably identify where she is I have looked at these guys many many times and I have been fortunate enough to see eggs So I know they're laying um, I know they are see that they don't like the light. It doesn't take long before they start Start going a little bit crazy from the light. Um, get this one out of the way. So, there we go. So, don't see the queen. Yeah, there she is, right in the middle. Yeah. This is the one that had her wings, so she dropped her wings, and that's the first time I've seen that, because I almost never see her, frankly. She's always kind of covered up. And I'll bet we can see eggs, though I don't see it on my small screen, but when I watch the video, and you guys probably can see eggs somewhere. Um, they started laying a few days ago. Uh, so not a huge egg pile, but it's but it's starting, and you can see there's a nice calla right in the middle of the screen compared to the rest. So... Um, they, they pile up, they cover up the queen, they are laying. It's going to take a little while for uh, uh, for the eggs to develop, but it's a really good start. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no clue how many, uh, uh, how many ants are in here, how many workers that we've accumulated, but I'd be willing to bet it's a couple hundred in each nest. Um, that's what I would, that's what I would bet. Um, 
and I will give this another couple weeks and we will check again. But it looks like both of these uh, nests are doing really well. So thanks for watching. Until next time.